Well, guys, I think we all remember the ma'am part of the stories of uh, it's ma'am at a, at a Target and that whole complete meltdown of a sanity where, uh, eh, where you know it's clearly they're insane. Well, we have a 2.0. It's, it's, it's what we call, um, complete and mental breakdown. We want to say that these people do not have mental problems. We want to say that these people are all right in the head. Uh, I'm starting to really think, or I already know, but this is really not helping their case, saying that they don't have mental issues. This is going further to say that they do have mental issues. Take a look at this. Every single day, you guys, and this is why I complain about all the time. Look, what's what's his name? What's your name? My name Alex? Is Tommy. Yeah, your name's Alex, and I'm gonna be talking to your manager. This guy called me sir. I get this happens every fucking day. Everywhere I go, I get called sir. I'm so I fucking tired. Why would you call a chick? Big ass tits. Fucking. Why would you call? I didn't say No, that. stop trying to gaslight trans people and tell us that we're crazy. I crazy. Didn't. You need to fucking. Be mindful of other people and stop being so. a fucking scumbag and you're a liar. I heard you. Stop fucking gaslighting trans people. Wait, what? Did you call me sir again? What was that? You said goodnight, sir? Alex, I'm gonna be talking to corporate about you, you motherfucker. Fuck you, okay? That's bullshit. You don't fucking harass trans people at work. Yeah, you did. And I'm walking out and you're like, have a good night, sir. Well, what the I'm fuck is that? No. You don't fucking do this to trans people. This is discrimination. I didn't say no, this is discrimination. I'm fucking done with it. No, I'm gonna talk to corporate about this. You don't what harass you trans people. people. Hey, you know it's one of the stupid things Get when you're catching Karens. I didn't even say nothing. You call me sir, and you're talking no, to call me sir on the way. This is it, transphobic harassment. Oh my you're God. a fucking bigot. Oh my God. I work. All right, Alex. You know what? I, I can't wait to just. He admits twice calling me sir. No, you lied about the first one. No, you called me sir twice. You said me twice. The yeah, but you shouldn't be fucking harassing but people I with slurs. It's a you. slur. I never Do you not understand? I if never you, said sir. It's like if you call the person that color the N word. Don't I never fucking. Said sir. I you never did on the way out. I don't care. But I, never said I have sir. the right to be pissed about I never it. Said sir you either. fucking did. I said I'll lock the door. You fucking did, you liar. And I'm going to hold you accountable. Keep. Cis people need to be held accountable for how they treat trans people. And I'm not gonna put up with this shit anymore. You're crazy, bro. You're a fucking, don't call me fucking broke. Stop fucking throwing slurs at me, you fucking piece of shit. Have a good night, sis. No, fuck you. Fuck you. I ain't your sis, I ain't your fucking bro. You don't even fucking know me. Oh, you wanna flash gang signs at me. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, fuck your ass. Oh, suck, you wanna talk about sucking dick now? Why is it that you fucking weird since people are so obsessed with sex? You have fucking discrimination going on and your brain goes to fucking dick sucking. Don't fucking call me sir. This is, this is transphobia right here at the top of Yeah, you know, you haven't heard the last of me. Fuck you. Fuck you. So this guy is getting triggered by the word bro. Bro, listen, I call women bro, I call guys bro, it's just a common thing that I see that that calling, that it's just a thing people just do, they just call each other bro. It's just, it's, it's not meant to be offensive. And then, you go complete in hysterics about it, like a complete absolute lunatic. It's, it's quite hilarious, really. It's just like, oh, don't call me this. It's like, and you really think this is helping your case? To where, like, you guys think that you're, uh, completely sane? <laughs> where we're just gonna sit there and be like, ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, you guys are completely okay. We have to listen to you guys. Yeah, this is really not helping your case, guys. It it's really not. <laughs> I find it kind of hilarious in this sense. Just because of the mere fact of how lunacy and how stupid it sounds. And when you say the word bro, they go all complete ape shit like a, like... They just, like, they just been stabbed. It, it's just, and they're, they're asking the person to leave, and they just doesn't leave, and he keeps on raging on like an absolute maniac. Like, no, I, it's like, I have to keep on talking to you. It's like, ah, <laughs> uh, it, it's hilarious. It's, this is the clown world that we live in. Reality is just completely gone. Of course, this is an older video, so 
yeah, it's starting to resurface. But I didn't see this clip. I uh, apparently have been in, in La La Land for some god apparent reason. But yeah, this is this is complete insanity. I, I, I feel bad for anybody that has to work in retail or anything like this. You people deserve more respect than this. You don't deserve this type of insanity. You have to deal with the lunatics. And I, I feel sorry for you guys. It's it, This is an absolute tragedy in every regard. Uh, uh, oh, man. It, it's we, we got to take a few laughs here and there because if we don't, then what is it? Uh, we already have the uh, uh, Hollywood trying to sap all kinds of comedy or any fun away from us. So we we got to laugh at a few things, especially the lunatics here and there, because that's that's how we're gonna get that's how we're gonna survive for this. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share as always. <laughs> take care.